Hey guys, it's Tammy. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I've been doing really well. I've got a ton of work to do and a ton of work I've been doing. But it's everything's going pretty good. I'm actually going to show you a short clip on my garden, what's going on with it right now. My peppers are trying to come out of their funk, whatever's been wrong with them. I kind of think that maybe there was something in the manure that wasn't cured out enough for the peppers. That's the, the only thing I can figure, but I'm not really sure. I have a tomato plant that I'm pretty confident that a mole has uh, killed. And I know that a mole killed some borage, and it kind of died the same way the borage did. So I'm assuming that's what happened to the tomato plant. But other than that, it's doing really well. Uh, my Kershaw squash, he's just still in the show in the garden this year and um, my tomatoes are doing really well. I've, there was some that I've had some blossom in rot that I've tried to deal with and, but I think I've got it under control now too. It seems to be perfectly. Uh, I finally got three tomatoes off the vine that are ripe. Uh, that's not in the clip because I had done got them before I made this clip. But with this clip, I want to add in a um, mail call that I've been meaning to do, and I actually had just got another mail call, and I thought, I have got to do this, and I feel bad for not getting on it quicker than I have been. This time of year has been a little harder for me. But first of all, I want to thank Miss Granny B, because she ended up sending me another comfrey plant that first one didn't make it, and from what I gathered from it, I really think, because it was really hot and kind of muggy smelling, and I think it's set in a delivery truck, UPS, truck, or not UPS, but a mail truck somewhere in the heat. Because it smelled like it had really gotten, you know. But she sent me another, and bless her heart. And I, I hate she did, but I'm thankful at the same time. But she always sends me the prettiest little cards. And this is actually the card she sent me the first time. And I wanted to share it with you just to see the, the picture on it. Because she's got some pretty cards. The other one was a bird, too. And I can't remember the type of bird that was, but this here is an indigo, indigo bunting bird. And what's so cool about this little bird, this little bird is actually super, super small. And uh, it wasn't, I don't know, it was just a few days later, I seen this little, little bird just like this out here out back. And I had never seen one here before, and it was really cool to find it. But beautiful little bird. At first I thought it was an eastern bluebird, but the eastern bluebird's got a, a red chest here. Uh, so it wasn't, but I really was excited about that. That tickled me. I love birds, Granny. And second of all, this is a delayed one that I should have done a long time ago, and I didn't. But my father-in-law, um, he his mind isn't well, and um, he always raised the best collard greens there ever was, in my opinion. And he lived in North Carolina. And before all this happened with his mind and stuff, I didn't think to ask him what type of collards he, he had. And I was talking with Chris and Darlene from uh, Homesteading the Hard Way about it because they weren't too far from where my father-in-law lived. And he said, it's got to be, it's got to be um, cabbage collards. And so he sent me uh, some cabbage collards. I put them in this little thing here. But it was so sweet for them to send me that. I'm, you have no idea how excited I am to even get these to pretty confident that this is what my father-in-law raised. So that's exciting to me. I've normally raised the Georgia collards, which I like real well as well. Uh, but I was excited to get these. So thank you so much, Chris and Darlene. And if you haven't checked out their channel, which most of these people, I'm sure y'all probably already know and checked out and everything. But if you haven't, I want to put links for their their. Um, channels down below uh, so that you can go check them out. So that was Homesteading the Hard Way, Chris and Darlene, and Granny B. And I will put those links down there. And then this one. Guys, I want to tell you something. I, I was pure near crying whenever Chris and Darlene sent me this because I was excited to know that this is probably what my father-in-law had. And But when I got this, it was a surprise and it was something that I just kind of casually mentioned at one time that I wanted to get one day. And uh, they showed up in the mail. And I was just 
overjoyed. I could not, I don't know, I just can't get over the fact that they, that they would even do this. But this is um, Rob with, Rob and Jen for with uh, Essay on Family Garden. And they sent me some willow basket, basket willow, I'm sorry, um, in the mail. And it just, it blessed me to pieces. I can't even tell you how much it blessed me. I've got them in a little thing. I actually covered this so that uh, the roots would take better because it was just a mason jar to see through. And I read that it's better to actually have them in the dark, not in the window. To, and they're starting to get little roots on them. I don't know if you can see, see that little bugger? So they're coming along really good. I'm excited about these. I'm so excited about these because I've, I've fiddle-faddled with little things over weaving before, but not nothing major, just little crafty things. But I've always wanted to really learn how to weave good baskets and stuff like that. And that's what I'm going to do with these bookers. So I'm so excited over these. I'm thankful for them. So thankful for them. So Rob and Jen and your family, bless you, bless you, bless you. Chris and Darlene, bless you, bless you, bless you, because I would have never been able to find these any other way, probably, if it hadn't been for you guys. And little Granny B, you got a super sweet heart, dear. I appreciate you so much. And I love you guys a whole bunch as well. But check out these guys if you haven't. And I, if you have, just give them a good pat on the back, just because of their sweethearts. Anyway, God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And like. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I've got some good things coming up that I've been trying to work on. And um, I wouldn't say any shifting taking place. But uh, trying to be a little bit better focused, I guess you would say. It's been a crazy time of year for me. So my focus hasn't been as good as it, it needs to be. But um, I've got some good things coming along. Or I hope to put their good things. They, to me, I think they'll be. But anyway, thank you guys. God bless you guys. See you later. Guys, I'm in here. We're going to put up some of my tomatoes. Thought I could do a quick video. This here's the Big John's. They're doing great. I actually got to thin some leaves out here pretty soon. Big old mators. They're doing great. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I've got a maze here. My watermelons. There's one. That's a personal size watermelon. That's probably about close. There's another one right there. I don't know that that one's going to make it, though. I'm going to tear that one off. Um, sorry, guys. There gives you an idea of my hand, the size it is. Uh, here's those little white current. They're still not ripe yet. They're kind of slow. They came, they came out like this pretty quick. But then from there, they've been kind of slow. Mm, brown cherries. These peppers are trying to... That's the banana. They're still surviving. I was on the verge of cutting them boogers down, and they're starting to come up a little bit, but I don't know. These are the um, bell peppers. They still look rough as a cob. I don't understand what in the world's happening to them. But, whatever. Here's my big black tomatoes. They're doing great. All of my tomatoes are doing that great. That's all the big black tomatoes. Yeah, I got them clustered down too close. These are all my... Uh, that one there died. I have a feeling a mole probably got its root, but the rest of them are doing pretty grand. And there's bukus of them, as you can see. That's bukus, bukus. Mm, that's a uh, chocolate pepper. It's coming back out of that font too, a little bit. More Amish paste. More on this paste. Uh, the cilantro that shot out here was bolting. Uh, sweet pepper. I actually already, there's two of the basil. I actually harvested some off of that basil the other day, so I've already been harvesting off it too. Mm, another sweet potato. 
Sorry guys, it's a jungle now. As you can see, all of them's going great. Bigger. Um, my cucumber, that's what this is, coming out here. I've got to dig in here and harvest some of it. Just one you can see pretty easily. And then there is all the squash. It's gone crazy. There's my, I already got a little bit of uh, okra off. I've got several coming back on. Here's two of those. I know you cannot tell how big those are, but the round part, the big round part on the back end is about the size of a basketball. That's just two of them. Those, I would say those are seven, the tallest one anyway. It's probably seven foot tall. And then there you go, about six, six and a half, or five and a half. And six, six and a half, somewhere in there. So, this is what the jungle looks like. Guys. It is a jungle. I'll show you some more of those squash. Thanks again for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you liked my video. Share, subscribe. I hope you have a good week this week. God bless.